This was me a few years ago. I mean, I wasn't a cartoon, but I was stressed about anything and everything, unable to find peace of mind. This is me now. I'm more calm, centered, and in control, even when there are thousands of things going on around me. So, what changed? It all began with one major mindset shift, looking at the bigger picture. I'm going to show you why that works, and I'll tell you how to apply it to totally transform your own life. So, let's talk about the big picture. Hi, I'm Jeremy Godwin, and I teach you how to look after your mental health. With weekly videos and longer episodes of my weekly podcast, let's talk about mental health. Today, I'm looking at how to improve your mental health by shifting your focus to what really matters. For most of my life, I went in whatever direction life took me, but that led to a lot of stress, and eventually I had a total breakdown, followed by years of severe depression and anxiety. I was too caught up in the little things that were going on in my life, and everything seemed to matter, no matter how small it might be. But the problem with that is that when everything matters, then nothing matters. I realized I needed to shift my mindset to think about the bigger picture. And since then, I've been much happier than ever before. So, what is the big picture? Think of it this way. If you're up close to a painting, you'll see brush strokes and colors, maybe the odd detail here and there. But it can be hard to make sense of it all. But take a few steps back, and suddenly the entire canvas comes into view. And that's when you can see how each detail forms part of the whole. Life's like that. Each day we see tiny details that form part of the bigger picture. Some of them matter on their own, but many of them are just part of the background. And you're probably not going to remember them in 10 days, let alone 10 years. If we let ourselves get bogged down by all the minor details in life, like our train running late, or that comment someone made on social media, then we lose sight of what really matters. The big picture. Our plans, our dreams, our aspirations, who we are and who we are not, where we fit into in this world. All of that matters much more than the stuff we deal with every day. Someone cut you off in traffic? Okay, that's not great, but also not important. So let it go. Because when you do, you begin to find true peace of mind. So how does focusing on the big picture improve your mental health? You are in control of your own destiny, and you can steer your life in any direction you want. You may not control every twist and turn you face, but you can definitely influence your journey, steering your course in ways that reflect your values and your goals. You can always shape your own journey by focusing on the big picture and not letting the little day-to-day -day things distract you from what really matters. Here are five simple ways to focus on the big picture, starting with reflect on your values and goals. What matters most to you in life? What are your long-term goals? Thinking about these questions can help you understand your personal big picture and it can guide your decisions and actions. Next, practice mindfulness. And that means being present and fully engaged with whatever you're doing in the moment, free from distraction or judgment, and being aware of your thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. Mindfulness can help you become more in tune with your inner self and your place in the wider world. Next, try new things. Because variety is the spice of life, and it helps us look at things differently. Watch documentaries, read books, take up a new hobby. These are all opportunities to shift your perspective. Or you could explore types of music you wouldn't typically listen to. Or maybe learn a new language, which can give you insights into how another culture thinks about themselves and the wider world. Next, practice gratitude which simply involves taking the time to acknowledge what you're thankful for, and it can help you to appreciate your place in the world. It can be as simple as writing down a few things you're grateful for each day. It doesn't need to be complicated. Next, challenge yourself. Learn new things and push yourself to look at different viewpoints on topics. For example, instead of rejecting someone with opposing opinions or political beliefs than yours, try to understand where they're coming from and why. 
you don't have to agree with them. Generally speaking, talking with people who have different experiences, beliefs, and perspectives can be really eye-opening. This could be as simple as having a deep conversation with a friend, attending a local community meeting, or joining a group online. So, what are you going to do today to shift your mindset? Let me know in the comments. And you'll find more tips for looking at the big picture in the latest episode of the Let's Talk About Mental Health podcast, and it's linked in the episode description. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care and talk to you next time. Become a paid supporter on Spotify or Patreon for ad-free content and early episode access. They're linked in the episode description. And for more tips to help you look after your mental health, watch this video next and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Sunday.